The students studying behind me here on UGA's campus will probably hope to get an A on their next test, but the state of Georgia just got an F. I'll tell you what it scored so low in coming up next on Grady News Source. From the University of Georgia, a student production from the Grady College of Journalism, this is Grady News Source. Welcome to Grady News Source. A recent rush of break-ins have led to concerns in the athens Clark County Police Department. Good evening, I'm Jenny Jung. But first, a new investigation lists our state as having a serious problem with integrity. I'm Travis Ragsdale. Georgia may be the most corrupt state in the nation. At least, that's what one new investigation says. Lisa Glazier looked into that report and why some Georgia officials are calling it a hit job. Lisa, what's going on here? Well, the State Integrity Investigation, a collaborative project of the Center for Public Integrity, Global Integrity, and Public Radio International, says Georgia is ripe for corruption. But Georgia current and former officials are calling the report unfair, inaccurate, and poorly reported. A big F, 49 out of 100. F in public access to information, F in ethics enforcement agencies, F in lobbying disclosures. The Center for Public Integrity graded Georgia failing in 9 of 14 categories in its corruption risk report card. But some Georgia legislators are questioning the integrity of the study itself. House Ethics Committee Chairman Joe Wilkinson told the Atlanta Journal-Constitution the study's investigator is the problem. And the former director of the State Ethics Commission also questions the study's methodology. This is not a fair study whatsoever to hire random people to, to do the survey. There's no way the state of Georgia in 2009 could be six or seven and now be dead last. The person hired was Jim Walls, a former AJC reporter who now runs his own website, AtlantaUnfiltered.com. Walls scored Georgia based on 14 main categories and 61 subcategories. The research was conducted last summer. The center stands behind its investigator and says Georgia legislators should be on notice. We stand firmly behind our reporter in Georgia. Uh, we stand firmly behind the data. And we had a peer reviewer that also looked at the Georgia data. And the fact of the matter is that legislature is trying to shoot the messenger here. And they stop shooting the messenger and look at the message. The study says the Georgia Government Transparency and Campaign Finance Commission needs more power. It doesn't make its own rules. Most of its investigative jobs have been eliminated. It calls for more ethics enforcement. And regardless of the failing grade, experts do agree there's always room for improvement. New Jersey came in first in the nationwide report with a B-plus rating. Thompson says the fact that no state received an A shows the report's inaccuracy. Now, Lisa, you mentioned that there was room for improvement. Where, uh, what could Georgia do to improve? Well, you can check out all the details of the study on stateintegrity.org, but specifically, Walls reports that 658 state workers accepted gratuities, things like sports tickets and expensive meals, over the past two years. He also writes that campaign finance disclosures to the Campaign Finance Commission are rarely audited. Kevin Abernathy told me earlier today he's the commission's chair, told me earlier today that the report doesn't accurately reflect his work, and he stands with Thompson and Wilkinson. Thank you, Lisa.